Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is Cuisinart's new Chef's Convection Oven. It's beautifully designed. You'll notice the exterior is um, brushed stainless steel, has a nice large grip handle to open the oven so that you can see inside. And you'll notice inside there's a pizza stone, which I'm going to show you how to use in a little bit. It's 13 inches, so you can put up to a 13 inch pie in there. And you can also use pizza stones for other things, not just pizza. You can use it to do like rolls and bread. It's really efficient and it's really great to get a really great crust on any type of bread that you're going to bake. The other thing is you'll notice there's multiple slots and multiple positions for your um, baking rack. And with this oven, we give you multiple baking racks. I just want to show you something. The position in the middle here, when you close the oven and open it, it automatically ejects the rack for you when you're using it. So that's really nice. Other thing, it comes with a 9 by 13 inch baking and broiling pan. It's two pieces, as you can see. Very generous. And a 9 by 13 is a really common large size um, for um, any type of baking pan. So that's a really generous size. If you're going to do a pan of lasagna or a large batch of chicken, it's terrific. Has a really nice, easy clean interior. Has an interior light, which you can, um, which automatically goes on when you open it up, but you can also turn it um, on and off yourself just by pressing this button. You also notice there's a very large display. The unit has 1,875 watts of power. It also is 0.95 cubic feet. It also has um, 15 cooking functions, which is terrific. Plus it has something called, a really innovative feature called dual cook and speed convection. So let's look at the panel here. Very nice and large clock display here. This is your selector dial, which is going to do all of your functions for you. I'm going to show you how to use that in a minute. Then you also have your start and stop button here, your 30 seconds button, where you can add 30 seconds to a cooking time, your convection feature, your light like I mentioned, speed convection, which um, is great because you don't have to use, do any preheating when you use that, and then dual cook. Dual cook is a great function because it allows you to combine two different cooking functions. So if, for instance, you wanted to bake something and then broil it, you can actually set the oven so it does both functions and you don't have to come back and stop and start the oven again yourself. So let's look at some of the functions on the major panel. First you have toast, bagel, waffle, which is great if you do frozen waffles. The next one is traditional bake, broil, roast, pizza, and the pizza function we're going to actually use today to make a pizza. Sandwich, if you're going to do any kind of heated sandwiches, keep warm, and also leftovers. I love the leftover function because I don't like to reheat my leftovers in the microwave, so that's a great function if you don't want to use a microwave to reheat food. So I'm just going to press the start stop button so we get back to a clear panel. And I'm going to show you how some of these function works. First you have toast. So when you turn the dial to toast, you press the middle of the dial, which is which is going to engage your function. Then it goes to automatically to the number four shade control. And you can just step between one and seven. And the dial goes both ways, so you can go up or down. So I'll show you pick number four. Then once again, it's going to show you how many slices you're going to do. One to four, one to two, three to four, five to six, seven to nine slices. And then you can just press, and then it's going to ask you if it's frozen. When you see that snowflake, if you pick that, it's going to think that you're doing something that's frozen. And then you're just going to hit start. And it's going to count down for you. So our next function after um, toast, let's just pick one so that you can see. Um, let's do bake and dual cook. So the first one you're going to use is bake. I'm going to bake it for 350, let's say for 45 minutes, and you engage it. And now I'm going to pick my next function. It's going to be broil at 500 for 10 minutes. And then you're going to hit start. And that's really great because you 
pre-programmed everything. You picked all your times and your temperature. You put your food in. It's going to go through the preheating function and then it's going to start cooking. And it's really great when you want to do two-step operations. So speed convection is basically, you don't have to, like I mentioned earlier, you don't have to go through the preheat function. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to actually show you, I'm going to set the pizza function up and I'm going to show you how we're going to make a pizza. So once again, press pizza, I'm going to go on 450, I'm going to do 12 inches and I'm going to do a fresh pizza. So see how I turned the dial and the snowflake went away? I'm doing fresh. I'm going to cook it for 15 minutes. And I'm going to get, get it started because it's going to go through a preheat phase. And then while that's preheating, I'm actually going to prepare the pizza. Now remember, the important thing about using a pizza stone is it needs to be preheated before you actually use it. Because what's going to happen is when you put the pizza on the stone, the pizza is actually going to absorb the heat from the stone and that's what's going to make for a beautifully finished crust for you. So I already prepared this pizza dough, so we just have to shape it. I'm going to move this tray so that um, you can see better. And one of the things I want to mention is um, if you don't own a pizza peel, there's a couple of different ways to transfer your pizza to the actual pizza oven after you've shaped it. You can use the back of a baking pan, put some cornmeal on it. This happens to be heat proof, so what I'm going to do is, I already, it's hard to tell, but I already put the cornmeal on top. And what you do is just put the cornmeal on and just, I always like to rub it around to make sure it's like evenly dispersed. And the importance of this is the cornmeal, because pizza dough is moist, the cornmeal is actually like little ball bearings. So what happens is once you get that pizza dough on there, it's not going to stick. And it also, because it's like little bowl bearings, it's going to allow you to slide it right off that into the oven for when you want to bake your pizza. So here's our pizza dough. I'm just going to shape this. I'm just going to use my hands today um, because I don't have a rolling pin. So don't be afraid to make pizza. It's such a fun thing to do. I'd love to do it at home. And it tastes so much better than frozen pizza. And don't be afraid. Some people are, think that pizza is intimidating, but you know what? It's just flour and water. It's nothing bad that you can do to it. So just, you know, practice your skills a little bit. Shape it by pulling on it. Sometimes I find that what really, really helps is if you let the pizza um, rest a little bit, it'll relax. And you notice it's really stretchy, so when it's relaxed, it's a lot easier to stretch. So just keep working with this until it's the shape you want. And don't worry, it does not have to be perfect. That's the one thing I think people get so overly concerned about is perfection. It does not have to be perfect. And I make pizza all the time. I love to make it with my nephews. I was going through some old pictures recently, and I saw pictures of my nephews who are now 19 and 20, and they were like four and six, and we were making pizza in my first little house that I had. So that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is put it on this, stretch it out. Like I said, it does not have to be perfect. What we're going to do is, and be creative with the stuff. If you don't like tomato sauce, don't use tomato sauce. If you don't like tomatoes, don't use tomatoes. You can do, um, there's so many great pizzas I've seen recently. Like my husband and I had one the other day and it was like lemon and thyme and onions. It was really tasty. So just, you know, get creative with it. Don't worry about it. The next thing we're going to do is put on, I like to use fresh tomatoes. We're going to put on just some slices of fresh tomatoes. Like I said, don't be worried about being a perfectionist with this. It's still going to taste the same when you're done. Put one more, spread it out. And what I'm going to do is top it with the cheese. Now, sometimes what I like to do is bake my pizza. I'm not going to do this today, but just a little tip for yourselves. I like to bake the pizza um, like halfway and then add the cheese to the top because sometimes if the cheese is in there the entire time, it will get a little brown. So depending on how you like it, um, you know, I just don't like my, my cheese on top brownish, so I like to put it in halfway when it's done. 
So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how easily this slides around. And if it, if it doesn't, just give it some assistance. And what I'm going to do is the oven's not quite preheated. We're going to wait till it's preheated. But when it is, I'm going to show you how to slide it right into the oven. We're going to bake that pizza off. So our oven's up to temperature, and now what we're going to do is put in our pizza. I'm just going to pull this out because of the angle I'm at and get the pizza in really quick. And remember what I told you, little cornmeal always helps. And there we go. We're just going to push the rack back in. We've got a little cornmeal in the front, but that's okay. Close it. Let it cook. We're going to come back and see what a beautiful pie we made. So our pizza's all done, the oven turned off. We're just going to open it. I'm gonna use a pot holder to pull out this rack so you can see the beautiful pizza. Now, for today, I'm just gonna use the tongs and show you what a gorgeous pizza we made with our chef's convection oven. I love making pizza and add a little extra flavor. My husband loves basil, and I like to put this on, it in, at, on the end so it doesn't turn brown. Just put a little bit of fragrant basil on the top. And there you have it, a beautiful homemade pizza in no time. Hi, I'm Mary Rogers, and this is Cuisinart's new Chef's Convection Oven. It's beautifully designed. You'll notice the exterior is um, brushed stainless steel, has a nice large grip handle to open the oven so that you can see inside. And you'll notice inside there's a pizza stone, which I'm going to show you how to use in a little bit. It's 13 inches, so you can put up to a 13-inch pie in there. And you can also use pizza stones for other things, not just pizza. You can use it to do like rolls and bread. It's really efficient, and it's really great to get a really great crust on any type of bread that you're going to bake. The other thing is you'll notice there's multiple slots and multiple positions for your um, baking rack. And with this oven, we give you multiple baking racks. I just want to show you something. The position in the middle here, when you close the oven and open it, it automatically ejects the rack for you when you're using it. So that's really nice. Other thing, it comes with a 9 by 13 inch baking and broiling pan. It's two pieces, as you can see. Very generous. And a 9 by 13 is 